Hello guys, I uh, wanted to talk about the Chase Infinite Money Glitch. Now, for those who don't already know, it's basically this type of glitch where, well, if you even want to really call it that, but basically what happens is you wind up sending a check that winds up being fake. Like you're depositing a fake check in your bank account. And there's a, there's a delay in the processing times to where the check would supposedly, you know, clear or... Of course, you know, since we're talking about fraud being committed here, bounce. But the thing is that there's people exploiting this. And because of this delay that could happen, you know, could happen by a day. Could happen maybe by a few days. Um, well, the thing is, they're withdrawing cash because of the fact that there is that delay in time where it does show like like hey like your your money is technically available but then whenever these people are taking money out of the ATMs like we're talking you know not even just like oh like a few hundred bucks not even like a thousand, two thousand bucks. These people out here are are doing this stuff where it's like tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Or I believe I've heard one or two cases where somehow, some way, there's people doing a million dollars. I don't know how they pulled that off, especially when we're talking like cash with ATNs because. Um, because generally speaking, like, you know, as security measures go, and I'm somebody that has Chase Bank myself, but how that's supposed to work under normal conditions where there's no glitches or, or anything happening is where that's, you know, you're generally not supposed to be able to take out about like, like $400 from an ATM in a single day. It doesn't matter if you, it doesn't matter if you like wind up like going to like, let's say you want to like 10 different ATMs, you know, in, in a single day. The maximum amount combined is supposed to be $400 regardless. So, you know, of course somebody could go to like 10 different ATMs and withdraw $40 you know, which then that would add up to $400. So, you know, you stay under that threshold and, or at that threshold, and technically speaking, you'd be fine. But obviously, we're talking legitimate. But, you know, when I've been seeing these other videos going on about all of this, it made me think to myself, you know what? I want to make my own video with this and express my my opinion and, and my reactions to it. And really, I'm just thinking when I first found out about this, oh my goodness. You people are idiots. Idiots! You are idiots! How, how do you think that... How... How do you even think that you could get away with something like this? <laughs> this dude, you know, you know, like uh, there, there'll be something that I'll be seeing out there. And, and the thing with me is that I don't have TikTok. I have never had that platform, never will. I mean, like, shoot, like it, here we are in September. It's actually 
my 14 year YouTube anniversary is coming up. I've always um, been on been on that platform with posting all my videos. Rarely have I really like shown anything on my face anymore because it's mostly uh, you know gaming content that I share. But you know sometimes there's there's some exceptions to make like this, and um, I'll tell you. <laughs> I just <laughs> the stupidity that's out there. I just can't help but laugh. I just can't help but laugh my butt off. Seriously. <laughs> I mean <laughs> You really think that you're going to, to freaking get away with this? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's totally free money. Yeah. Uh, no. No. No, it's not free money. And then on top of that, you know, it's like, thing is, like, you know, all these ATMs have cameras. So then, you know, you're talking about, like, all of your account info, like, being tied, and, you know, you got, like, your social security number, you know, your address, phone number, all that personal information already tied to your bank account, so... You know, you're going to be pretty easily traced anyway to begin with. Just from that alone. But um, now, you know, you add on to the fact that you're literally posting videos of you committing fraud and putting it on TikTok. Because that's what tends to be with these people do especially when like dumb challenges or whatever the freaking hell else people come up with nowadays i know i, I sound like i'm probably like an 80 year old <laughs> the way i'm talking well i'm actually 29 but uh <laughs> but anyway it, it's just like it like how 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 much worse is this going to get? You know, these people are thinking that it's that it's free money. Okay. Like what the hell ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then on top of that, yeah, like you're recording yourself posting this stuff on social media, so you know, like you make it even easier to be found not even just by the bank themselves but the police as well so you know well prosecutors you know court how no, freaking courts in general are gonna have a field day over this stuff and um the thing is is that you commit you commit fraud you know you could be facing 20 years in federal prison on top of that, you could, I mean, hell, you, you could deal with a massive, a massive fine up to $250,000. That's a quarter of a million dollars. So, even if somehow you avoid getting put in the slammer, well, I mean, especially depending on your case, like with whatever amounts that you did and whatnot, I mean, you're, we're, we're talking generational debt, basically. Like, you know, like, <laughs> there's complete total opposite of generational wealth as you can get. So, you know, you add that into the picture, and your credit score will just drop way the hell down. You won't be able to get a loan to do squat. <laughs> you won't be able to open up any accounts from for other banks so <laughs> you know on top of the fact that you i mean you already have to deal with paying back that initial money to begin with anyway and then we're not even talking about the overdraft fees of you know 35 dollars every single day so Essentially, you just put yourself through like $35 a day of interest, essentially. 
So, um, <laughs> oh, gosh, I, I, I just, I, I, I'm, I, I don't, I don't even know what to say when it comes to this stuff. I'm just, seriously, like, like, you people are this freaking stupid? Are you kidding me? Seriously, are you freaking kidding me? And then on top of that, you know, already bad enough for you to be doing this stuff as it is. Much less like freaking crazy, insane amounts, which from from what I know is that ATMs are supposed to carry around like $20,000. Like, like in this like one particular ATM, like on average is $20,000. So I don't know exactly how these people are able to do like other, I don't have like transactions like bigger than that. Unless they're like hitting up maybe different ATMs. That's the only logical thing I can think of as far as that goes. But um, as far as like, you know, stuff in cash. But, um, but besides that, you know, like, <laughs> they're, they're, they're not even sure. Like, you know what? Like, if you're going to commit a crime, and, and and obviously I do not condone anyone doing this or any other kind of crime in general, but if you're going to do something like this, at least be freaking smart about it. You know, you could have at least, like, most of these people that are doing this stuff, they're usually turning around, freaking go, going around and, you know, they could be, like, eating out, like, freaking 20 times a week and... You know, they could be getting themselves, probably getting themselves cars that they can't afford, or, you know, they're, what, like, probably, like, lifting, they're probably doing, like, some, some of that dumb stuff with, like, oh, lifting up their trucks, like, super high, or getting, like, crazy rims on regular cars, like, making them, like, ride, like, higher on the ground, or, or turn them into low riders, um... I mean, <laughs> pretty much anything, <laughs> anything you can think of, you know, like they're, they're not, they're not even using the money for the right reasons on top of already all the other stupid things that they're pulling off. I mean, my goodness, at least if you're going to do something like this, at least make it worthwhile, right? You know, like at least just take care of your priorities if you're going to do this kind of stuff. I mean, they could have freaking, you know, they could have paid off their rent. They could have gotten like a car note, purchased a car outright, <laughs> you know, you know, if they needed a car, if they, you know, were upgrading from like whatever they, they had at the time. I mean, shoot, it's just so many other things they could have freaking done. I mean, shoot, you, you know, you're going to do something like that. At least be smart about it. Right? But of course, you know, they think, oh, it's free money. I can just do whatever the hell I freaking want to. No, reality check, the world doesn't work like that. So you know what? Even if for some weird reason, even if nobody was committing any sort of crime here, even if there was something where there was a legitimate glitch that happened... I mean, to be honest, like, I, you know, if I had, I guess an example, like, if, if I woke up finding, like, $30,000 being deposited in my bank account, I'm not even going to touch it. Why? Because if I know that I didn't, if that, if that was money I didn't earn, whether it was, say, like, you know, like, Winning money from a sweepstakes, winning winning some money from the lottery or, or whatever. You know, like I'm I'm not even gonna touch it. <laughs> I'm I'm only touch until that stuff completely clears. So even even if I know like oh okay, like I I mean of course like if I know that I legitimately like 
gained that thirty thousand dollars, then I I don't know. Oh, maybe it's just because I freaking have common sense, but I wouldn't freaking touch it. <laughs> you know, like that's like like doing that instant gratification stuff. It's just not going to get you anywhere. So yeah, you know, like you know, you you did this infinite money nonsense. Well, guess glitch nonsense. Well, now now everybody's going to be uh paying the price really hard for for that. You know, so yeah, you know, be facing you know a whole bunch of prison time, major fines, even if somehow you avoided, even if you miraculously avoided both punishments somehow then you're still talking about, at the absolute bare minimum, you still got to pay that money back. So, you're still screwed no matter what. And especially if you're filming yourself doing that, well, you just, you just put yourself in a worse position, so. <laughs> you know, I, my advice, I would just say, is, well, for one, don't do this infinite money glitch because it's not a glitch, so. Number two is don't commit fraud. <laughs> and uh, number three is do not go for any sort of these like, get-rich-quick schemes. So... You just wind up, you know, you could wind up being scammed. You could, you know, wind up still being a load of trouble regardless. But, um, what, one, one more thing I do want to add at the end of this is, you know, the mentality from these people that are doing this, this so-called chase glitch is that these are the same people who you usually wind up seeing on those those lottery winner stories where, you know, like, say, like, you know, and there's, and, you know, there's so many of them you could find out with, like, lottery winner stories gone wrong. You know, a lot, you know, or there is a, there is a fact where 70% of lottery winners go broke within the first five years. And looking at how these people are from this incident, well, to be honest, their mentality is basically the same. They think, you know, oh, hey, I can just spend whatever I want, just left and right, just make it all rain. Nope, newsflash. There's still money out there. There's still a finite amount. It wouldn't matter if you already had millions of dollars. You still, you still got to make sure you, you keep your stuff together. So, yeah, you know, <laughs> you just don't, don't do this. Don't, don't commit crimes. Don't be, don't be putting yourself in this kind of spot. So that's pretty much, pretty much about everything I have to say about all this. Um, you know, be safe out there guys. And it's, you know, don't, don't ever think that you're above the law for a single minute.